Galactic cannibalism built most of what we can see today, not chaos, just gravity doing what gravity does. And if you didn't know, as we speak, our galaxy is snacking on a dwarf galaxy. It's called Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, and with every orbit, it's losing more stars. That has to be one of the coolest things ever. <laughs> And here is the historical snack menu of the Milky Way. First up, we have Gaia Enceladus, also known as the Sausage. It crashed into the Milky Way about 8 to 11 billion years ago, and it populated our halo and thick disk with stars on steep and elongated orbits. And then there is the Sequoia Galaxy. It fed our outer halo with stars at sharp and tilted angles. These events explain why the Milky Way has star populations and motions that don't align with the main spiral disk. Scientists decode this using galactic archaeology and evidence, which are stellar streams that stretch for tens of thousands of light years and stars with mismatched chemical fingerprints. So in a nutshell, many of the stars that we see in our night sky used to belong to galaxies that no longer exist. Our galaxy's a hungry girl.